Now this one is called The Big C It has stressed them The lockdown It has stressed people at Jamaica edition And people In this video I am going to show you some people That it seems as if There is some sort of adverse reaction To the fact that there is a lockdown To the fact that there is a Big C protocol in Jamaica So people The first part of the video is from TVJ And there is a thing that is called Fear play It is not plagiarism I am giving credit, even though it is their material. So people, take a listen, take a look to what happens when there is a curfew time and the curfew time has basically ended. However, we have some people from the church, they are out and they are about, and they are not following the protocol. We are speaking about social distancing. We are talking about mass, rete, lele, blue, blah, blah. Take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my piece. As it relates to our country and the spread of COVID, so they have been quite compliant, no obstacle, no, um, no resistance. However, this group of religious protesters proved to be defiant. Now people, based on this video and based on the videos with Reverend or the pastor Peter Chambers, we can come to a logical conclusion that the people of the cloth, the church people, they are not having a very good week this week because we say they are going against the system. We are speaking about disaster risk management. We are speaking about the bro God system. So therefore, whenever they are defiant, you have a place that you call two in one and one in two. It is all the same. We are speaking about a place for mad people and a place for bad people. And it is called the big yard. Just like you have the Father, the Son and the Holy Ghost. Three in one, two in one, three in one. So people, the same thing. And that kind of sounds blasphemous. However, you get the point. Now, people, if you watch the video closely, you would see that the popo, they were laughing behind the mask. And they were wondering, while this lady is getting in spirits, was there going to be some sort of clash, some sort of thunderball coming from out of the sky to basically lit down everybody that is going against the son or the daughters of God. However, people, obviously, that did not work. It did not work for Peter Chambers, and it did not work for these ladies. And people, even when you watch the video, you could see that the friends of this lady that was getting into spirit, they were shot, they were awe, they were baffled because they were warning. Why is this lady acting like this? Is she speaking in tongues? Is she getting into all sorts of spirit? However, people, it was kind of excessive. She was kind of overdoing it. She was basically ODing it. So people, the moral of the story is this. There is one place that it is going to end up. We are speaking about in the back of the Paul Paul Cruiser and in the big yard. And people, so said, so done. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I said, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up. Now, before I move to the next part of my video, please subscribe to my next channel. It is called Jamaica Dancehall Source, and I'll be pinning the link to this channel in the description of this video. And also, please subscribe to this channel. And when you subscribe, please press the notification bell or icon, and also press all in the option. Now, people, continuing on the theme of 
it seems like the big C lockdown for the weekend, it basically a mad the people and people, I mean it, literally. Now, the next video that you're going to watch, there's a man that found himself on top of a light pole. I am speaking about a light pole that has all sorts of high tension wires on it. And people, the truth and the fact is that I don't know how this man got up there. However, it seems as if when you're kind of losing your senses, you get some other senses. I am speaking about as in the monkey sense. I am speaking about the sense of climbing. However, he is perched on top of the light pole and he is basically this in bro God. We are talking about the Prime Minister of Jamaica. We are talking about Andrew Holness. Some people, take a listen, take a look and then I'll give my piece. Yeah, yeah man, never do him. Before you get Never but me not want him come down here now, you know? Let him talk for real, God. If he's not real, God, call this bro, God, or clean her head, God. she run like fire. Hmm. 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 I don't know what to do. I feel that I'm going to Jesus Christ! What? Hey! 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 Now people, when we look at a video like this, it is obvious that this man na on ahead. And people, whenever you na on ahead and you na on take your meds, it is going to be problematic. So we saw that this video held us under suspense. The suspense was intense because we were wondering, is this man going to get the shock of his life? Is this man going to be a victim of those high-powered wire that are laced on this pole? Or people, was he going to be lucky? Some people, the moral of the story is this. The higher that the monkey climbs is the more that he is exposed. So therefore, this man has a problem with the Queen of England. He has a problem with Bro God. We are speaking about Andrew Holness. So therefore, he took it to the higher power. We are speaking about perch on top of some sort of high, high tension wire, high pole. And people, you know what happens whenever the body meets any type of high tension wire. It could be disastrous. So therefore, it seems as if this man was taking his case to the privy court. This man was taking his case to the high court. We are speaking about as in perch on top of some sort of high tension pole, high tension wire. So therefore, he needed to get his point across. And people, he was lucky that he did not end up stepping or touching one of those wires because people, you would have known the result. So people like me say, I did not see the start of this video. I did not get a start of the video. How he ended up on top of the pole. Also, I did not see the end of the video. So people, I don't know what happened. So people like the saying goes, whatever goes up, it has to come down soon or later by some means, by somehow. And people, I hope that he made it down without being forced down. We're talking about liquor for the wire, point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like me say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.